Okay, upper body warm up seat. All we're going to do is set yourself up a band on an upright around about eye level. Take a step back so you're picking up the slack of that band in order to be relaxed in that opposite back, back position. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're just going to pull that band apart at face height. Okay, elbows very wide. We're going to do 15 reps. Once you've done your 15 reps, then you're into a neutral grip dumbbell press. You get your pair of dumbbells. Palms facing each other, knuckles facing the ceiling. We're just going to press this guy for 10 reps. Okay, it's not about the weight there. Just make sure it's nice and controlled, stable in that top position. Go into the ring push ups. Just set up a set of rings nice and low down. If you can't get them low enough, you can put your feet on a box and it'll be around about uh, the same height as the bottom of the rings. From this position, nice and controlled and way down. Biceps to rings, press up to the top. Biceps to rings. Press it to the top. You can scale that back by going on your knees if you need to once you're first getting used to it. Renegade rows, same set of dumbbells. This is not about the weight, it's not about the pulling motion, it's more about maintaining our midline, keeping our core nice and tight. So we don't want our hips to shift from side to side. Keeping those dumbbells down, we're going to go to a press up and pull each side. And again, press up, pull each side. What I'm trying to avoid is this sort of thing happening where I'm shifting my weight and using momentum through my midline. I want to try and keep everything nice and square, stop myself rocking from side to side. And finishing off, five ball slams. Up, nice and aggressive, full range of motion. Up, five slams. Upper body warm up, see.